Well, here is Stop 7 in RRSPS Season 5, as we're in Glendale for a very interesting racing setup. And I actually had the um, opportunity to do some practice laps off screen before doing um debut. And I got some criticisms about it so far. But anyways, let's try it out. As you go up this hill and just barely clear this one. Then you got to go over this hill. Then you got to become somewhat like St. Louis. Turn around. As almost slid a little bit. Go right for this hill. Up it over it. Then, of course, turn right here to line up right for the racing lane right here. And up and over it. And not have a good time whatsoever. Best time I ever got was like 19.79, which I'm sure is not going to be anywhere close to enough. And I've never tried out this lane yet. This is the first time I've always tried that lane, but I guess give it a shot. And then I'll get to my problems with racing. As come to a crawl. All right, there we go. Reload. And we're off. Alright. Alright, that was a really good turn, but I'm sure I'm gonna have a bad time still nonetheless. Especially since I went kinda wide right there. Ugh. Here we go up the hill. Hey! That was actually my best time! 19.75! Alright. That's nice to know. Alright, so anyways. There's like two problems I think that sh that are that are big problems with the track. One, this jump right here. As you saw in my practice laps, I just barely, barely cleared them with the rear tires. If you saw, as watch, you see right here, like just barely clipped. I mean, um, got over it. God forbid I might get caught by the car for all I know. So, Adam, you probably should have either made the jump smaller so that won't happen or you probably should have had right there in the first place because that ramp is just way too high for the amount of speed distance you have to start off with and then the other problem is this hill right here it makes it very difficult and i've seen people complain too on the rsps server the um going that turn you should not have added that on bump there either and of course this would probably make it impossible to do in real life with this jump right there you'll probably be like world files 2 and Almost smacked the wall. <laughs> That's that would probably be like a real life criticism, but other than that, those two problems are big problems in racing. That jump should have been smaller, and that first bump should not be there. All right, now let's go try out freestyle. And of course, here we go. I never touched T, so I don't know why you did that. All right, here we go. Let's see how it is on this side. Maybe backflippable? I'm sure if you hit it at the right angle, it probably could be a backflip. But of course, we know for a fact this would... Wait, the cars have been... Rem Wait, of course why I remember seeing car right here. But of course, this is backflippable. There we go. Almost overshot right there. And it's got the nice save. Alright, so now line up for this one. Wouldn't be surprised if you hit it at just the right angle, you might get a backflip off of it. Alright, try this side. Come on, lineups. Oh, God, can you just line up straight already? That time I hit a, a lot harder. And almost overshot again. As got the nice save. And I like this. A quadruple bus stack. That is awesome. As I almost cleared them from the fans, too. Saw that fell bots. Big air off of cars. You said that was impossible. I mean, look at that air. Okay, that time I didn't get much air, but that other side was awesome. The only thing I would say, though, is probably not a smart idea to put this big of an obstacle right here with the wall right there. God forbid, I wouldn't be surprised I overshot right there. Wouldn't be surprised if many people in the run actually hit that wall right there and, like, flip over or something like that. You probably shouldn't have put it there. You probably should have put it somewhere else. All right, now let's go try this stack. As nice air off it, completely cleared it, too. All right. Now let's try the ramp side. Nice. Coming down. Couldn't get the slap wheelie. Alright, so now... I like this too. I love that he brought that um giant car pyramid from like St. Louis 2006. I've... Uh oh, got caught a little bit by the ramp. I've always wanted to do that in um, MTWS. And it is technically possible that model, I mean St. Louis 2006, was made in real life. And that was a big air. The problem is, no, no one in MTM2 physics would probably be terrible quality. So I never did that, but... 
with this here. Oh, nice once again. Maybe that could be possible one day to make that car pyramid. Especially with the racing lane right there Long Neck made. That could be an interesting idea for a future track I might have in store to make. All right, here we go for sideways hit. As we'll almost clear the cars. Now they go try the back side of it as I hit the wall. That time I backed up farther. That time I cleared it. All right. So now let's go for the cars themselves. Here we go. Almost into the wall. Full throttle. Nice here off it. I'm quite curious what the back side will be. As now going for it. Going to crawl up to it so I don't over me. I'm doing like a back throw or something like that. And my god, look at that air. And that's what you do with big ear. You crush stuff on landing. All right, now let's go try for these cars. Nice sky wheelie. And got a little bit of a slap. Wheelies are going to hit the wall. Now let's try the other side. This time I'm in second gear. Nice air. Going to get close to the wall right there. And of course it was a camper. And then, oh god, the tower of power. Oh god, that is going to be tough. Oh boy. Oh boy, as we go right for the camper right there. That's the one thing that sucks though about those transparent, like, contain, um, transparent, um, um, campers like you would expect to be like some sort of like resistance over it instead of just like going like fruit like nothing there maybe like something that'll make make you go up a little bit higher all right here we go the dreaded tower of power let's see how this does up oh, got caught by it there we go front flip it i won't be surprised if a whole bunch of trucks runs are ended because of that and if i ever make it to this event i probably would avoid that at all costs until like the end of my run where it won't matter because that is... De I don't want that to happen to me at all. And, of course, get a backflip off of it. <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. I bet... I don't think that would work in real life, though. So, let's try that. <laughs> all right. Let's go for it again. This time, harder. That time, got over it nice and nice, much more cleaner. Oh, that was so funny. Getting that backflip off of it. That is going to go over. And, oh, couldn't get the sidewall off of it. All right. Here we go now, line up right for the back of the cars right here, and get some nice air on them to land on top of them. Alright, so, that is Adam's RR SPS Season 5, um, 7th event in Glendale. The track, in terms of freestyle, is fucking awesome. That car pyramid, that quadruple bus deck, although I don't, would not, I would not put that there, Kate, because the wall, and of course the racing lanes have problems, but other than that, it would be nice if I could make this event so I could freestyle it because this one looks really fun to freestyle on.